While Trevor was assembling the engine for the Camaro, Nathan and the body shop crew were working their magic on the Camaro's body shell and sheet metal parts. The Camaro's body shell was all finished off in metal, but those surfaces still need some refining to turn it into a show car finish. So Nathan started with the car's hood, which was made of fiberglass. Fiberglass hoods can be kind of tricky because they tend to change shape. If you take the hood off and lean it against the wall or store it somewhere, uh, the fiberglass tends to move around a little bit. So the first thing he did was build up the perimeter of the hood using some Marglass fiberglass reinforced filler. And this added some more material so Nathan could make sure the shape of the hood was gonna match the car more accurately. After the Marglass was applied and allowed to cure, he started to sand it down until he got close and then applied some Marson body filler to the hood to further refine the shape and straighten it out. Once he got the hood in the general ballpark, uh, Nathan began to apply body filler to the rest of the car's shell. And the theory here is that we just kind of refine the shape with the body filler. We don't create contours or, or pile on all kinds of filler to shape the car because the car's shape was all handled in bare steel. And we showed you that in an earlier phase. But at this point, the body filler will help bring the lines out and also help fill in any small hammer marks or small dings that are present in the panels that weren't removed with a hammer and dolly. The trick is to mix this stuff as carefully as possible so you don't over whip the filler when you combine the hardener because you can introduce pinholes and air bubbles which will then uh, be applied right to the car and when you start to sand those down they'll reveal themselves as little craters and things you have to fill in again later. So Nathan is experienced at doing this and he's capable of smearing body filler over large areas of the car at a time. So he worked the doors, the quarter panels, the whole roof, and eventually all the way back to the tail pan and the deck lid. Any of the interior panels that weren't to be covered with upholstery were also treated to a body filler and block sanding process. The whole dashboard, the rear side panels, anything that you'd see once this car is finished. The first step to shaping the body filler once it hardens is to use a large orbital sander, and we call it a mud hog in our shop. It's got an eight inch pad on it, and that allows them to quickly knock down the high spots. But when you apply the body filler, you wanna try and apply it as smooth as possible. Nathan used 3M masking tape in areas where he didn't want the filler to fall into, and he also was quick to carve it out of holes like where the rear wing mounts to the deck lid so that he didn't have to scrape the stuff out later. It's easier to remove it before it hardens. After a panel has been knocked down with the mud hog, uh, Nathan uses a six inch DA sander to further hone in on the shape of the car. And then after that, he moves to hand sanding with some Dura blocks. You'll also find him using various tools from around the shop, uh, even nuts and bolts wrapped in sandpaper to, to really get into those tight contours to make sure that every square inch of this car gets sanded. The sanding process ends up removing, uh, I don't know, probably 90% of the body filler off the car as it's being sanded down. In some areas, you can see right through it. In some places, it gets completely removed. And the purpose here is, again, to kind of just fill in those very minor imperfections in the panels and make sure that everything is straight and true from front to back. Now this car has a rear wing that mounts onto the deck lid, so Nathan took some extra time to kind of rework that wing, and he beefed it up with some fiberglass in the ends so that it seems to sit lower to the car, but in actuality, it's the same height as it was when it came from the factory. On our 68 Camaro project, I had an original RS wing that there were some things about it we just didn't like. They all stand up and have these little gap bumps on the front and the back side back here. So I did a little bit of fiberglass work and moved some of the lines around just to make it fit a little nicer. We got rid of the little raised section. I gave it a nice little bevel and tapered the ends. On the back back here, the original body line was a quarter inch higher and had little stand ups. I fiberglassed it in, then moved my body line a quarter inch down so it makes everything flow nice and even. And our side profiles on the wing were standing up a lot taller and they look, just look nicer matching the flow of the quarter. So I had to cut them down and file them quite a bit to make all that match up.
match up right. And on the inside, I set them up so they're nice and smooth, and I'll set a piece of foam pad right here, just like a lot of the original cars did that'll come down and set nicely on the quarter without squishing it or smashing it. Now all of our gaps are nice and tight all the way around it. I just got a little bit of trim work, clean up a few corners and it's all done. The block sanding process literally took weeks on this car to make sure that every panel matched the height of the next one, that all the body contours were crisp, and that everything got refined from front to back. And for many cars, they're about finished once the body filler has been sanded. A lot of times you just go right to a primer and then your color. But in this case, we added another step, a BASF glazurate sprayable polyester, which allows us to even further refine all of the edges on this car and make sure that there are absolutely no sanding scratches or pinholes. It's applied using the 3M AccuSpray primer gun with its large tip because the stuff is a very, very high build chemical. After the polyester is allowed to cure, Nathan sprays some aerosol guide coat, which is a black colored paint that's going to allow him to see where he has sanded and where he has yet to sand. I'm using uh, Glazert Sprayable Body Filler. It's a real nice product because it lets you put that last coat of filler on without having any spreader marks or anything. You fill all the last of the pinholes and imperfections nice and evenly. Then I come back and put a guide coat over the top of it so it's all ready to be blocked again. So the next step is going to be to block it all out with like 150 or 220. A little bit of both. It all get finished down to 220 and then go to primer. Another trick we used on this car was to tape out the body lines and then block sand to the tape to make sure that we had nice, straight, crisp lines everywhere on the car. As soon as I finished the body work, I went ahead and seam sealed all my seams here, and then I polyed over the top of them. And I can come back and I can clean them all out. And a sawzall blade, bimetal sawzall blade works well for it. Because it gives you a nice little gap, and you can slowly just shave it right down to get back down to your seam seal layer. And it's all nice, perfect, even, smooth gap. Take a little piece of 150 and all done. After the long process of block sanding the polyester to get the car as straight as it can be, Nathan and the crew disassembled all the panels and sanded them again to make sure the door edges and the jam areas were all refined as well. And then finally, all the individual parts were back masked and sprayed with a BASF glazurate high build primer, which will then lead to another sanding process before they get sprayed with sealer, and then color. At this point, we also painted the back side of any panel not receiving body color in a satin black. I just put primer on the 68 Camaro. And when then after I got it all done, I unmasked it and I pushed it out here in the sun so the sun, the UV rays will nice, bake the primer nice and hard. Give it a few days to dry up and do whatever shrinking or whatever it's gonna do before we sand it. Next, we're gonna sand the car down. We're gonna get the car all ready for sealer and base coat.